Hey guys, what's up? NFX here. Uh, in this video, I want to show you a site I'm working on. It's just kind of like a hobby project for me, but um, it basically it's a beat feedback site. And uh, if you had, let's just say, a, a YouTube video or a SoundCloud link that you wanted to gather some feedback on, you could use this system here um, and get focused feedback about your uh, your media so what I want to do is I want to show you here uh, the site is called beatzoo.com and this is what it looks like and currently I'm not logged into it but you can see that there are some tracks listed here so I can go in and I could select a track that I want to leave feedback on okay I'm going to show you how you leave feedback first um, so I'm going to click on the first one and when I click on it it comes up with a little player and these stars here that I can rate and a comment section so I can hit the play button I'm not gonna play the whole thing I am just gonna start start it real quick just so you can hear it in the shadows where okay so I stopped it um, but presumably the person listening would leave it playing um, and then down below are these star rating systems and you can see there are attributes here listed composition structure melody and harmony instrumentation emotional impact and vocal performance I'm just going to give myself some votes um, if there's a question as what does composition and structure means you can click on this uh, blue icon or the person leaving feedback can click on it and it'll open up here and describe oh that means the overall arrangement of flow of the track or what's emotional impact how well the track conveys feelings and mood and all of the attributes have this ability so that people understand what they're rating on each of these uh, items uh, then there's a comment box and I'm just gonna put uh, great track and leave and then submit it when I do that what happens is now I can see the scores uh, there are two votes so far uh, but I could see the scores for each one of these items and it shows you the the same thing the attribute and you could again open up or, sh or hide the description the score which I can no longer vote but it's showing me what the average is and below it's telling me average 8.0 out of 10 and it says votes two, meaning there have been two votes on this track so in addition to the what I had voted there was another vote already in the system and now I voted I can't vote on it again even though I'm not logged in uh, I can't vote on it again and then there's my uh, there's my comment if there were more comments they would just be listed all at the bottom here okay now um, let's say I want to leave my own feedback um, as you may want to uh, what you would do is you'd click on the login button and you need to log in to get your own track listing area so I'm gonna hit login it's asking me for a user or at, uh, email or email and my password but there's no way for you to register on this site instead you need to use either an existing Google login or an existing reddit login by clicking on either one of these you can log in to BeatZoo but you won't uh, need to sign up for it or register or fill out any forms you will need to allow BeatZoo to log you in through one of these providers I do not see your password I do not have access to your accounts when you use these and as a demo I'm going to log in to it with Reddit 
And you'll see what basically happens is it'll redirect you to the site and it says, hey, uh, Beats Who would like to connect with your Reddit account. And what can it do? Well, it can access your Reddit username and sign up date and it expires in one hour. And furthermore, Beats Who will not be able to access your Reddit password. So this only logs you into Reddit and then logs you into Beatsu uh, based off Reddit saying you're authentic. Uh, it doesn't give me any access to your Reddit uh, credentials at all. So I'm going to say allow. When I say allow, now I'm logged in. And it goes to your tracks. And you can see I have no tracks listed, no tracks found. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and, and, and make a new track. Now the way you would do that is you would hit this little plus button here. Um, oh, let me just go off, go back to the, uh, to the main homepage again real quick. And you can see that your tracks is still available and log out because I'm logged in now. It, it's, uh, allowing me to navigate to the homepage still. I'm going to hit the plus button and now I can add in some information and I'm going to, um, Go to, go to another window real quick and pull up a link that I want to use. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a YouTube link since I showed you the SoundCloud. And I'm going to go in here. I'm going to call it Stay Lit, which is the name of the song. I'm going to paste my YouTube link for the genre. I'm going to call it Hip Hop. And then I have these two checkboxes. The first one will make it visible on the home page of Beatsu. And the reason why you might want to not make it visible is you may just want to share this link with people that you know only. You don't want just anyone being able to leave you feedback. Maybe you're in a, a small group on a Discord somewhere and you just want those people to be able to... Uh, leave you feedback you can you can uh, leave this unchecked and it won't make it visible to anyone except for those with the link it's similar to how YouTube has unlisted videos the second link requires you to log into Beatsu to view and review the track I'm gonna leave that unchecked that way people who don't want to log into Beatsu can still leave feedback now below that this is where I think one of the benefits of using a system like this come into play is you actually have 11 different attributes that you can select from. You can select between one and five uh, currently. That's how the rule is. So you, you minimum is one, maximum is five. So let's just say I want to be uh, have feedback on my composition my mix quality because this this song does have lyrics maybe i want lyrics and vocal performance and production quality so that's five uh, maybe i'll get rid of mix quality and leave just production quality okay so i have four items that i want and everything's filled in i'm going to hit submit track and now on my track list here I see that track listed. This is the unique ID for that track, and you can see it's it looks somewhat random, so someone it'd be very difficult for someone to guess that. It's kind of like the YouTube video IDs. I have a status where I can make it active, inactive, or hidden as needed. So let's say you have a track up and you want to stop people from leaving feedback, you can make it inactive. Or let's say you want to make it so they can't even see it anymore. You can make it hidden. Um, next to that, you have the number of votes and whether or not it's public, meaning it's going to appear on the Beatsu homepage and whether or not it requires login. Okay, so now if we go to the Beatsu homepage, because this is public, what we'll see is that it now shows up on, on that homepage. Uh, you can get to it either by clicking on it here or from the Your Tracks, you can click on it here. 
it's the same thing it'll take you to the feedback page for that for that track that you just entered now because I'm the guy that posted it here I cannot vote on it so currently my feedback summary will tell me that it'll show my four uh, items that I wanted to get feedback on and it'll just say NA out of 10 votes zero so because I have zero votes there's nothing to show me as people vote these numbers will start to to change uh, there's a share this feedback button if you click that it'll copy the URL into the clipboard for you and as a test I'm going to see if I can go into incognito mode and paste that so this would be so there it is now it doesn't know who I am because I'm in incognito mode so now you could see uh, how it's going to allow me to vote. Now this dialogue down here, this is just that dialogue you see on a lot of uh, websites about the cookies, you know, so you can, you can deal with that. This is just saying I go ahead and accept the cookies. But to, to leave the feedback here, now I have these raters and you can see as I slide across them, they, they fill in. And so I'm going to leave myself, uh, let's just say, uh, eight stars, seven stars, six stars, and five stars. So it's eight, seven, six, five. And in the comment, I'm going to say, um, nice work. And I'm going to hit submit feedback. Now, granted, you probably shouldn't be feeding back your own tracks, but I want to just show you how that's going to, how that's going to work. So let me close now this uh, incognito window go back here and I will refresh the page and when I refresh the page uh, again I'm in my logged in view now it's showing me eight seven six and five and it's saying votes one and at the bottom here it shows me the comment so as people rate your track this will continue to change and comments if which are optional will appear uh, the newest one on top and then they'll all be listed below so by do, by using this system you can get um, some pretty focused um, feedback and that's one of the reasons why I made it I mean there are plenty of sites to allow you to get feedback that uh, you know people have to write in um, what they uh, what they feel about it or what, what they want to say about it and they can still do that using this system through the comments but you're going to get I think more focused feedback on the things you're interested in because this this one for example does have lyrics and a vocal performance whereas a beat without lyrics or vocal performance you would leave these these categories these attributes out right you wouldn't you wouldn't care about that um, and so let's say you're trying to improve your, your mixes. You could have mix. You could have only one thing if you wanted, you know, just mix or just production quality and make it quick and easy for someone just to rate you on that and, and, uh, and do their thing. And then if you go back to your tracks, you can hit, you can do another track if you wanted, if you wanted to. Now, let's say I don't want this track to, to have any more votes. I can make it inactive. And if I was and and then it takes it out of this list. But there's a little filter button here and I could say show me my inactive tracks. And you could see I had a few uh, test tracks from earlier that are also inactive. Additionally, I can make them hidden. And again, if I want to see my hidden tracks, I can I can see them there and what happens is if you try to view a hidden track like this one here it'll say this track is no longer available so they don't see anything about it if you want to see a, an inactive track it'll say this track is no longer accepting feedback but your score will still be visible And that's handled through the filter. 
you could say all statuses and see and see them all. I'm going to make this one active again. And uh, and that's basically all there is to it. Now, it'll be up to you to share the link. Uh, I don't expect a lot of people will be coming to the home page just to leave feedback. But if you want it to be displayed here, no problem. Um, but again, this is so like you can get the link and you can post it on social media or you can post it on uh, uh, a board, a, a forum, a Reddit, subreddit or whatever you want and then allow people to uh, leave you some kind of focused feedback. I don't know if this is going to take off, if people are going to use it. I, I hope you do. If you do, um, you know, please leave me some feedback and tell me if you've had any problems with it or if you have any suggestions on how to make it better. Uh, I'd be interested to hear that. Check the link, uh, the description of this video for the places I will be looking for that feedback. And uh, I appreciate it. I hope you guys are doing great. And um, that's all I have for you today.